Good morning everyone. Today the plan is to go to the art store and buy a canvas to go uh, on this wall behind me. So we're in my living room and I want to say thank you to all the people who enjoyed the previous video and who are also excited about these like start to finish projects and I don't think I've ever made anything like this on my channel but I have to say that I am excited about kind of doing more purposeful projects that uh, inspire you and also beautify my home. So, so the goal today is hopefully I'm going to buy one or two canvases for the living room and maybe also a large frame for an existing painting. I have basically three spots in my living room that I want at some point to put some sort of artwork and the idea here is this is of course there's no like right or wrong I'm just telling you what I have in mind the idea here is to create a piece of artwork that is a part of the decor and not necessarily the focal point it's more of like a an atmospherical piece just to add uh, color and mood to this space. So our living room is quite simple and the walls are white and they're gonna stay white. And I, I think they're gonna stay white, although I do have an idea. There's like this nook in the wall where there used to be a window and sadly, um, I guess the previous or maybe it was never a window, but it looked like it was intended to be a window. And right now I'll show you. My husband kind of <laughs> did this little cute thing with... This is actually my artwork, but printed on uh, a large canvas. And, and so he like hung it here and put like these cute fairy lights around it and I like the idea of it but I don't think that particular piece kind of works with the space. This is our living room and I will give you very very soon, hopefully next week, uh, like a full tour of my new space and that is a little bit more me with a bit more of my color scheme. Uh, like my signature colors but in this area I do feel as much as I would love to kind of splatter some hot pink on the walls <laughs> I think uh, I still I want it to be kind of a calmer space that also my husband <laughs> enjoys <laughs> relaxing in and so the idea that I have for this artwork is it's going to be probably an abstract or very close to it and it's going to have very kind of calm colors and again it's just going to be kind of a piece that's supposed to um, create a mood and not necessarily make you kind of attract your attention and then I have some acrylic paint I mean I have quite a bit but I don't really have large tubes of it and so what I want to get is probably like three or four colors that are going to be like the main colors and in my head I have we have like this pillow and I think these are kind of going to be the guidelines so we actually have quite a few pink pillows uh, like these um, like as you can see like this softer shades of pink there's no hard pink uh, there's no like hot pink here and uh, all these pinks kind of lean warm so I, I want to keep that vibe we have wooden floors which we hope to um, redo at some point because they have seen better days but even if we do the, if even if we redo them it'll probably still be some sort of like warm color although I do have a fantasy of kind of going kind of whitewashed Greek inspired living room I'm not sure it fits you know living in a green Austrian a little village so we'll see about that but no I want to keep the mood kind of warm so I'm thinking color wise I'm thinking I'm going to do uh, like I'm going to look for some of this like pink uh, this kind of soft warm pink and probably some sort of like neutral 
um, I'm thinking kind of like that kind of vibe, uh, cream, like buff titanium, those sort of like washed out colors, maybe a little bit of taupe, still not sure about that. Uh, maybe a little bit like touches of this mustardy color. And then I definitely want to bring in some shade of green. And I'm thinking somewhere along the lines of like this. It's a little bit, I would say, more of like a, a bluish, like a minty green. Um, I have that color in my mind and I just need to find it in a tube. Um, I want this to be a relatively quick project so I can post it <laughs> the day after tomorrow on YouTube. <laughs> but not just that. It's just like with my personality, I it really works better for me to start and finish projects in a very, very short time frame. That's why I love to paint with watercolors because, you know, okay, sometimes you have to wait for it to dry, but there's never like waiting for days or weeks, uh, like sometimes with other mediums. Um, what I'm going to look for are colors that are kind of straight from the tube and the nice thing about acrylics especially with the kind of colors that I want which are very very light that means they have a lot of white in them is that it's inexpensive and you can buy like a really large bottle um, without you know breaking the bank it's not like some fancy oil paint or um, watercolor that is the plan so i just want to buy some paints that i don't really need to mix too much that i can use straight out of the tube i'm just excited to bring a little bit more of color and artwork to my house i've only recently started like hanging uh, hanging my pictures on the like my paintings on the walls and i really like it so for example i'll show you something that i did with my daughter so this is ignore this please <laughs> This doesn't exist. <laughs> so this area, um, this is all kind of new. We've had the same old, tired, heavy furniture for a decade, more than a decade. And we just decided it was time. Uh, our kids are a little bit older um, and I'm not as scared that they will destroy everything. So anyway, you can see this is kind of like these... Um, pillows that I was talking about, like these soft uh, colors of pink. So I think we have enough pink. I'm thinking really I want to go a bit more into that um, like minty green or maybe this kind of more of um, earthy green. And you can see here in the back, so this painting I painted with my daughter. Her painting is hanging on this wall here. And it's just, it kind of just sets a mood. So here is that wall. I need to redo the paint here. Uh, I guess this was supposed to be a window. I don't know if it ever was a window. It was like this when we moved here. And then this piece of artwork, I really, really love it. It's inspired by our travels in Greece the previous summer, but I don't think it really works with the space, with the mood I want for this space. And so it's gonna go. And I thought about painting this little nook in just a different color. I have a bit of like chalk paint in kind of this light mocha color. Uh, so maybe that would work here um, and just, and then hang some piece of artwork in this place. So that's one spot. And then the other spot is here. You can see we have like these cute arches. Uh, please forgive the mess. Uh, we have these really cute arches in the house. And I thought about like doing something here that kind of mimics that. But I don't know if I want to get too creative with this. So I'm thinking a simple uh, piece of artwork to go on this wall. And again, in these like calm colors. Let's go to the art store. 1000 years later, <laughs> the art store is way too far. And also it's a good buffer zone to have. So I got some paints and two canvases. I got actually a pretty big one. They didn't have exactly the size that I was hoping for. So I got a bit a larger one for this wall here. And then for this little nook in the wall, um, I actually got a smaller one just because I didn't feel like spending the money. So yeah, but the idea I didn't, I didn't want to get two of them at a time because the idea is that these uh, canvases are going to be uh, sisters, not twins, but like sisters. 
and my color inspiration was kind of this area and I think uh, you're gonna see it when I show you the colors so actually stuck to one brand completely not uh, on purpose uh, just because they just got it right like exactly the tone and shades that I was looking for and this is also a very inexpensive brand uh, in Austria because it's German so it's you know as local as it gets here this is from Lucas this is their studio line for these kinds of colors that I'm going to show you which have uh, relatively low content of pigment and it doesn't have to be like the fancy pigments uh, you can really go with student grade paint uh, usually what makes paint expensive is pigment and so if you want like the most intense pigmented colors that's usually artist grade i think in watercolor it also has to do some uh has to do with uh, how finely the pigment is ground but in this kind of thing what i'm making now it's completely um irrelevant and so student grade is the way to go and yeah so this is beige it's probably not going to look accurate on screen yeah, maybe it is but i think next to the white you can see that it's just like a warm um, cream color and then i don't know what to show you next they're also pretty but i think you have to see them uh, all together so let's start rainbowish uh, so this is probably going to be more of an accent color and this is naples yellow i was considering getting the yellow ochre but I thought this is actually nice. So uh, this is actually not, it's a little bit more um, earthy than the Naples yellow I use uh, in watercolor. But I think for this purposes, it'll be, oh, it's reading way, way, way brighter on screen than it is. Um, yeah, so it's, I would say it's like somewhere between a Naples yellow and a yellow ochre. Uh, what I would consider um, this color and really really nice yellow so this is probably going to be more of like an accent color but I really wanted that warmth and I was considering you can follow me on Pinterest and see what I've been pinning I have a board called art inspiration where I usually uh, pin kind of abstract it's always a little bit risky because I don't want to copy anyone but I feel like actually if you pin like a bunch of things and draw inspiration from let's say like 10 different artists, then um, then it's easier to make something that is you and not copied. Okie dokie, next we have just pretty colors. So we have this color apricot. This is just lovely. And then we have this color which is peach pink. And I think the camera is blowing it up a little bit. Oh, that's that's better. So that's a bit more true to reality. Then we have, I had to, this is already a bit cooler than I intended to go, but there is one pillow that is a little bit more of like a purplish pink. And I just love this color. So if I'm not gonna use it here, I'll probably find a way to use it like, on my wall upstairs or something like this so this is called rose and all of these have like tons of white in them and yeah it's like a mixture of yellows and reds so this is the color it's kind of a lighter very lighter version of what i'm wearing so hopefully you can see this is a little bit a little bit yeah truer to reality and then for the final colors Ugh, so pretty so this is it's actually funny how it seems because now when I'm holding them this really looks blue but it's very very it's actually like a mint green so let's see maybe next to something like this it looks a little bit more minty so this is mint and yeah beautiful color so i kind of want this to play a major role and then for a little bit of accents i got this color which is called fern it has all the pigments in the world in it isn't that lovely 
look at these so pretty and then I have my <laughs> crochet project this is probably going to be a pillow for my room because yeah it has some hot pink but look at these isn't that gorgeous and you can see I didn't want to go into the purple or the blue because we really don't have these colors here and I wanted to keep the color uh, story very very warm so this is even like I'm not even sure it's going to make it but this is kind of my vision with the beige also so I'll see you tomorrow good morning please forgive my casual appearance I've been <laughs> working <laughs> not working out just like trying to arrange this area so um, a bit, I'm a bit quiet because I'm on my balcony and not that I have a ton of neighbors but it's so quiet here that I don't want to be like the only sound um, so I have my canvases here I'll show you the setup in a second and I kind of shopped my stash and brought out a few things so yesterday as i was wandering around uh, pinterest i saw this uh, australian artist she is an abstract painter uh, based in melbourne and i just love her color sense i mean if you uh, go and check out her website or artwork you'll see it's kind it's it's my colors and she has on her website a few classes and I went on and like spontaneously bought one and I thoroughly enjoyed it but I have to say if I'm being like completely honest because I don't want to recommend something that is not fantastic. She offers some kind of process slash tutorial videos of how she creates a few of her paintings. And I picked the one that I just liked the painting the most and kind of had a similar style of what I imagine uh, to or hoping to make. I really enjoyed it. She kind of goes through her process, which I love because she does so many things that um, I do or want to do. Uh, she doesn't use brushes and like all the things I've talked about so many times like with acrylics here that I don't like the brushes and the water and like disposing of that water. So uh, she uses basically for that painting she that I watched I think she uses a tool like this maybe a little bit bigger. I love that so that's what I'm going to use and so it, this is very much inspired by um, her kind of process. I thoroughly enjoyed that video. Uh, also she said she shares her color choices which I always appreciate. I might pick up a few of the Holbein uh, Acryla gouache. Um, just a few like really really great colors like that perfect pink. I still don't have it. I have it in watercolor. I don't have it in acrylics. And what I don't like is that the video just kind of it's like half an hour and it just kind of stops and from what I think I saw, the end of the video is not actually the finished painting, so she does work on it some more. And this wasn't like a very expensive um, class, but it was still, I think, around $40. It was, I think, 49 Australian dollars. So I was a bit disappointed. Like, I think for that sort of thing, it should be like start to finish and so I just want to say that I think her work is amazing. As I was watching, I was like hoping maybe someday I can go to Melbourne and like, you know, work <laughs> next to her. <laughs> she lets me like watch her paint <laughs> because um, I just, I love her artwork. Uh, but I thought that class was just a little bit, like it needed just a little bit, like another half hour video um, and that would have been okay. Um, yeah sorry if you're here people are working in their gardens as always so yeah anyway um i have my colors i did a few sketches so maybe i can insert that footage somewhere here but um i'm not really going to look at them again i think i just want to keep things kind of calm uh, so i have the paints that i bought yesterday i have some um, liquid watercolors and then i have a box of my uh, acrylic inks and now with my new 
uh, organizational system, which I will share with you probably next week because my room is almost done. Um, it's very, very easy to just like pull out um, a box or shop, shop my stash. Everything is visible, labeled, I'm, like shocked at myself. So I, that was uh, my liquid watercolors. And then I have another box with all of my liquid um, acrylic inks. So those I feel much more comfortable using because, and I love using them, um, because uh, I love this color, but it so doesn't work with my color scheme. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today. And I think I'll just like, do this and then show you where I'm at and I don't have a lot of time because I have to go pick up my daughter so I'll probably just do the first layer and then um, continue later in the day or tomorrow very, very chatty I'm aware but that's my signature move right <laughs> see you later okay just a quick note so please ignore the dirty floor if you see that I'm sorry it's the way that it is. Uh, so here I have actually bought a, uh, a while back some um, canvas that was unstretched. And another tip that I got from this artist that I mentioned, Christine, I think her name is. I'm so sorry, but I'll, I'll put the name somewhere. Um, so she has also canvas under her stretched canvas. And so, you know, any, this would potentially become a painting. So I wanted to try that out. Uh, I have here my 80 by 80 canvas. I have, I put some um, like old <laughs> curtains that I also use to spray paint um, just as a layer to protect the very dirty uh, wooden floor. <laughs> and, and underneath that I have uh, all kinds of like helptons that I had from all the IKEA furniture. So I have here my paints. I have here my acrylic paint and my watercolor, and then I have the other canvas, the larger one here. And I'm going to start like this and show you how it looks after. Okay, so I've decided to stop. The lighting is not perfect. There's a bit more shade here, but this is where I'm at. The green here was a bit of a mistake and once this is dry, I will go over it because this is not what I had in mind. Uh, and so the other one is looking a lot closer to what I imagined. Uh, so I think it's like a good base. I love the colors and I think it would look really, really great in the intended space. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Hey everyone, so what you're seeing here are probably the final steps of this abstract and I'll show you the final result, although I might go back and add a little bit more. I kind of need to see it in the space. So I'm very aware that this video was lacking in the actual process of painting and the reason for that is because I was you know painting on this like larger scale and on canvases and I just don't really have yet the filming set up uh, so I do apologize and I really hope in the future to kind of set up a better system so I can share the process with you um, I really enjoyed it I came back and did another layer of paint sorry about the hectic uh, video work. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the process. So I went back with paint, I let it dry, and then I came back and just added a, a few scribbles. And now I'm adding these oil sticks from Sennelier, which are just lovely and really create that kind of painterly look. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. I have to see how it looks in my space. And I definitely want to create more canvases. Uh, the only, you know, real life issue that I have is on my balcony, we have um, like these, you know, wooden floor and beams under the roof. And I like to hang out there and the wasps also like to hang out there. So I was <laughs> half the time worried I would get stung by wasps because I think they built like a few nests there uh, between the beams. But yeah, I hope to just, you know, 
be able to share more of that process with you. Um, so I haven't hung these yet in my living room, but here are some mock-ups to give you an idea of the finished work of art. By the way, I think that light wooden frame looks great with this piece. And this is the square one. Um, so it's not exactly how it looks in my space, but it just gives you an idea. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I can share more of this with you in the future. Have a great day. Bye.